Okay, let's start the assembly process. Um, I'm going to start by putting the screen in. There, there's a couple of ways to do it. You can put in the button board first and then the screen. Uh, they kind of get in the way of each other, but I'm going to go with the screen. So, the screen was modified to add a, uh, a jumper to handle the 5 volt problem. The board normally is 12 volts. By removing the 5 volt regulator you can jumper it directly to an input of 5 volts. And this board actually folds around conveniently and can be affixed to the back. I do that with double sided tape. It's this red stuff. It really sticks and it sticks probably a little too much. So I use just a small amount on the corners and one in the middle. And what that will allow me to do is if I ever have to take this thing off, it's not going to stick too much. This this red tape will stick and if you get too much on and you try to remove the board you can actually separate this metal casing. Uh, it, it's not clamshell together very well so you can actually tear it, tear it completely apart if, if there's too much uh, force on the back. So I, I use just enough tape to keep it from sliding around. Also put a little bit of capped on tape over the uh, through holes to keep it from touching the metal so I don't want to short things out. Um, one of the downsides of this red tape is it's enormous, enormously difficult to remove the backing especially if you cut it with scissors because it compresses it Fold it over. Kind of wants to drift to one side because of the way the cable is. They kind of just center it. Don't have to too too aggressive with it. There we go. Now putting it inside is first. You got to remove this protective layer. There's a couple little uh, overhangs in the top here that this will slide underneath. And the tolerance on, on mine is pretty close. So when this slides in, what you do is you slide it. What you do is you slide it down and sort of rock it into position like that. Now I gotta push it forward so it goes underneath those two little overhangs. And then I can feel it actually snap into place. There's no other support on this thing. I don't think it's necessary. Um, the reason why it's not a touch screen, so you're not gonna be poking at it. And it, it's a pretty snug fit, so I don't think it's gonna pop out. The other thing I'm gonna do right now is put in the microphone, which goes right underneath. And to do that, you need to push it down. And to push it down, I'm using a little plastic screwdriver. Uh, well, one thing first, if, if, uh, if you need to get this out, you don't want to push on it. It will break the screen. It will damage the, uh, the liquid crystal, and it's very delicate. Uh, what I do is I use this little hook tool, and I go into the uh, microphone slot, and you can just pry it up a little bit. And using a tiny flat screwdriver, you can uh, nudge it forward and then slide it right out. And just the temptation to poke this, you, you will damage the screen. I've done it. It looks like garbage afterwards. Let's put the microphone in, which is going to just snap into place as well. I'll do that before I get the uh, button board put in. I can hear it snap. And 
now we have audio capabilities. BMO is now a voice assistant. BMO, what time is it? Oh, I guess I gotta plug everything in first. I get a little ahead of myself. So this is uh, the display unit. Careful of this thing here, it will rip. Whoops. Uh, very easily. Um, especially when you're taking it out. It'll rip right along this area here. But if that happens, it's not the end of the world. Um, this, this screen's made by some other company. And you can actually order just the screen online and then replace it. I actually did that once I ripped this ribbon cable and I just bought a new screen. Instead of reordering the whole control board, which can be a little expensive, you can fix it. Um, so that's the screen. Next up, we'll put in the uh, the button controls, uh, and we'll do that in the next video. So, uh, if you want to see more, please subscribe, and uh, I'll give you more details on how I put this together.